So you're going to like this one. You're going to really like this one. <laughs> I might fall down, but you're really going to like it. My beloved Paul is a purchaser and so he works with some plastics uh, manufacturers and he mentioned that hey I could get you a big slab of puck board how would that be and I was like uh, yes please and did he ever <laughs> deliver so let's uh, let's take it for a test drive let's get geared up and see what kind of trouble we can get into with this thing So in terms of gear, I am going to put on my trusty knee pads. I tell you every time, just not because I'm sponsored or anything, but just because somebody asks every time, what kind of knee pads are those? These are the Ritual GT Intermediate pads, and I love them. These are, I have an exact same pair that I wear on the ice as well. These are a spare pair. Um, and so I just use them for off ice training. So I've got that on um, and I'm going to put on some hockey socks, just normal hockey socks, because they, they'll help slide a little bit better. I'm not going to put on booties because I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to just push off the turf. Um, and I, like, cause I don't have any stoppers. It's just a big hunk of puck board. So um, I think the booties, I would just be sliding all over the place. I don't, I don't think my shoes will grab too much, but we'll see. We're gonna live and learn here. It's called the goalie training lab for a reason. Cause we experiment in here. So uh, I think I'm all set. Let's. Let's take it for a test drive. Let's take it for a rip. Not gonna lie. Feels a little sticky. Feels a little sticky. You know what? I'm gonna go to the shed and I find something to polish this thing up. Come on. Okay, that was easy. I think I got the stuff. Silicone. I don't don't do what I do because I don't have a clue. Uh, if Paul were home, I would ask him and he would know. But he's not home. Uh, it says use only in a well ventilated area, so I figure the basement is just as good as any. I have cracked the window, but if like things go wrong, and call nine one one. So I'm gonna just spray some on the cloth. I remember one time my dad sprayed silicone spray on the bottom of our ski boots so that the snow wouldn't stick to it, but he did it in the kitchen, which was a linoleum floor, and for about three months, <laughs> anytime you went in the kitchen, you'd wipe right out. So, <coughs> yeah, Whew. there's some fumes. Okay, so I'm just gonna polish it on all over. I don't know what I'm doing, so again, don't do what I do. Oh yeah, feeling slipperier already. Then I'm gonna give it a little rub in with the dry side. <sighs> Feels fast. Could have put away the chemicals. Now let's take it for a real rip. That's better. Well, that was a lot better. So let me try to slow things down a little bit. <laughs> the reason I wanted uh, this puck board is I wanted to work on my butterfly slides a little better, um, you know, when I was away from the ice, because it's something that I still have trouble with in transitioning and, and all that stuff. So today, let's just go through some ideas, some movement patterns. This is the first time I've been on it, so it might be a little bit rough, but let's walk through a few of the things that we can do. Again, this is just a piece of, I think it's quarter inch or three eighths inch uh, puck board. I don't, I don't know, that's just what 
that's just what I call it, puck board. <laughs> um, and I've just polished it up with some silicone. So let's just start with some lateral butterfly slides, or I just call them crease pushes. Um, so if I'm going to, I want to start sort of deliberately working because one of the things that I tend to do is I tend to have a little pause. So I'll come up, pause, and then push. And I'd like to make that all one really smooth movement. So I'm starting at a little bit of an angle because I want to have to get that head and shoulder turn, but then bringing my foot up and initiating that push right away. If I wanted to keep it simple, and maybe the best place to start, tall in my hips, forward angle, where's my glove, where's my blocker, and then I could just work on coming up, sliding across, not even trying to catch myself on the other side, just getting here, glove blocker, come up and just get that up and push. Then I could add in that head turn, shoulder turn. I even, I don't know if you guys do this ever, but if I'm in my butterfly, I'll also think about trying to click, almost click my skates together to help rotate me around. So watch from up there. <laughs> but if I think about, so I'll get my head and my shoulders, but I also get my foot to come around. I had so much power, I knocked myself right over. I told you I'd fall over. but. Let's see what that looks like. So if I go head and shoulder, boom, and then slide. Oh, I like that very much. So I'll get head and shoulder up and push right away. I like it. You can really pay attention to staying tall in the hips. It's slippery, so even as I come across, I have to have my nice balance. When I, I get that same like equal and opposite reaction force when I rotate around, I really like it. Let's try just some pendulums, because sometimes too I'm a little slow in that transition, so I'll push here, but I'm slow getting that other foot up if I have to decelerate. Let's see how that goes. Trying, I'm really thinking about trying to stay tall in my hips and trying to keep my hands stationary because I tend to, I'll grab my stick here, I tend to sometimes when I'm gliding across, I'll like, my stick will kind of, you know, do weird things. So I can think about where my stick should be as I go through that movement pattern. Man, this is good. What next? Well, I wonder if I can just go into a butterfly slide. So if I can come from standing and then transition, as a matter of fact, I can. Oh, okay. So, uh, let's almost do a pendulum that way. So if we start on two feet, glove and stick, we're going to come down, boom, back up, down, boom, back up. Oh, I like it. So I'm not coming all the way up to full standing. I'm just kind of taking the load off that leg. Again, I think I'd really like to add my stick in because it just magnifies, it's a good workout too, it just magnifies what weird things I'm doing with my upper body. I, I get the sense that sometimes when I'm coming down, my hands are going that way. So if I'm here, Yeah, that works. Like a charm. Uh, what else do I have trouble with? Oh, I have trouble with breathing. Uh, I think it's called backside recovery. Let me just fix my board a little bit here. Um, so, yeah, and I guess I was working on it a little bit just then, but I have a little bit of trouble if I'm pushing from my butterfly and then getting up to my feet. So I'm gonna give a little pivot, push, and then up to my feet. Put it all together, pivot, push, up to my feet. Pivot, push, up to my feet. So 
there are some drills. I'll keep working, I'll keep refining it, I'll get better and better uh, at it, but I know that is gonna translate onto the ice. I can do deliberate practice on this. I can do stamina circuits on this. Uh, this is gonna be a nice little playground. Don't ask me where to get it, because Paul got it. <laughs> Uh, but if you get stuck, I can try to find uh, a distributor or something. I know he, he works with these guys who do plastic manufacturing, so that's how he got it. But the point is, you need to find a way where you can work with some of these patterns. I'm not going to be smashing into my butterfly over and over, but I'm going to be working on those techniques and those patterns that I need, working on my stability as I go. Um, and that is going to help me learn the skills and practice the skills that I need to take onto the ice. So uh, this is fun. Thanks for coming along, playing in the lab with me. Uh, this is like my happy place down here. So I'm glad that you were able to come along and watch my hijinks. I'm glad that the fumes didn't overcome me and I didn't like <sighs> totally cack. <laughs> uh, I will catch you next time in the lab. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com. If you like the ingenuity of this, the even just the look of the socks and shorts and shoes and all that, hit like. Uh, if you have a question or a comment or an idea, you can critique my technique if you want. Totally cool. Put that in the comment section. Make sure you just subscribe before that goalie that you're going to play in the big tournament. You know the big tournament in a couple weeks? That goalie subscribes to my videos. He watches them. He doesn't just watch them. He does them. So make sure you subscribe and do the same. Otherwise, I will catch you next time. Get out there and stop some pucks. Oh, slipper. Stop.